everybody welcome back to my channel I'm so excited to share with you my weekly totals if you are new to my channel please subscribe I am all about uber eats doordash and multi apping today we're gonna get right into my weekly totals and how I accomplished a great week this week so guys if you like the contents of this video give it a big thumbs up and also leave me comments i would love to hear from you so guys if you're ready i'm ready let's get right into it okay so let's kind of break down my week and kind of what happened during each day so monday i think i had a pretty fantastic day for monday it ended up being 191 dollars so 31 dollars on doordash 160 dollars on Uber. So then Tuesday, I took the day off. I relaxed. I recouped. I had some family time, which was fantastic. So then, because I was resting up for St. Patrick's Day. So St. Patrick's Day on Wednesday was definitely like my winner by far. So the breakdown was I did $61 on DoorDash, and then I did $162 on Uber. So my total for Wednesday was $223, which holy moly, that was probably one of the best Wednesdays I've, I don't want to say ever had, but it's been one of the best Wednesdays in a really long time. So I was actually super proud of that. And I actually, I think I only did it in like six and a half hours. So even my time was shorter and I made more money, go figure. But so then Thursday, I did $39 on DoorDash, and then I did $164 on Uber. So my total for Thursday was $203. So Friday, Friday to me was like a little bit of a letdown. You would think for like Friday, like Uber Eats was like doing all these promotions for March Madness. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to make some money today. Not that I didn't make money. I did. So I don't want to think that I'm complaining, but it wasn't kind of my norm for a Friday. So I did $171 on Friday, $77 on DoorDash, $94 on Uber. So Saturday came freaking got tip baited twice. I'm still bitter about that. But anyway, so $69 on DoorDash, $138 on Uber Eats. If you guys see me looking down, it's because I have everything written down because I don't want to miss anything or screw anything up. So it was a $277 day on Saturday. And then Sunday, I did $76 on DoorDash and $93 on Uber. So I did $169 yesterday. Believe it or not, you know, it, I don't know. I feel like it was a weird Sunday yesterday. It wasn't busy, but it wasn't slow. And like my orders weren't big orders, but just my opinion. Once again, you think March Madness, especially with all the basketball games going on. I don't know. I Once again, I feel like I was expecting more, but maybe I'm having high expectations. Don't know, but anyway, so that's where I ended. So this is my weekly totals. Okay, so for I'll do DoorDash first. So DoorDash, I did three hundred and fifty-four dollars, and then for Uber, I did. Eight hundred and twelve dollars. So Uber was definitely my winner yesterday. I mean, last week, even last night. Last night was one of the best Uber quests that I've seen in a long time. Like you had to get more orders, which I couldn't get to the last one because eleven orders in the four hours I was out, and I was taking DoorDash orders was a little too much for me, but I at least completed three of the quests, and the very first quest gave me $8, so it was actually really decent last night, but anyway, so my total, if you add everything together, was $166 for the week, so I worked 40 hours, I took that one day off, so I worked 40 hours, and if you do 40 hours into the 1166, you get... 
$29 an hour. That was my average last week. So I am super proud of the week that I had. Every week I keep getting better. I keep challenging myself. I think I said it in yesterday's video. Like I am just so super competitive with myself that I guess it's pushing me to be better. At least that's my opinion. So you might ask, so what were the keys to my success? So I kind of have them written down and what I thought kind of changed my week last week. So maybe it could help you guys and maybe, you know, something might be beneficial to you. So this is the keys to my success for last week. And it, some of them I do every day, but some of them I tweaked to make sure that I had a better week. So first I do this every um, week. So I work during the peak time. So I work during the peak lunch time and I work during the peak dinner time because I really believe that you don't have to be working a gazillion hours in order to maximize your dollar amount. So, you know, I always do about two and a half, three hours for lunch and then I turn around and do four to five hours in the, I mean, in the evening for the dinner rush. So that way I'm do I'm out there during their busiest times. Um, but last week I started, I started earlier last week during the afternoon. So I kept starting at 11 or 1130. So I think that helped my lunchtime numbers, which gave me better numbers for nighttime because I had more going into the nighttime. So that was one thing. So second thing is, is I really stayed in my area and I didn't really take too many long distance orders because I really figured out that if I took shorter distances, even if it was still smaller dollar amounts, I would get more trips during an hour, which actually ended up giving me more money. I'm not saying I didn't take long trips, but they were very few of them and if I did I kind of thought smarter about it so I'll give you an, an example I took one nine mile trip but it was twenty dollar just it was twenty dollars so and I was gonna get an uber quest for four dollars so the total would have been twenty four dollars total when I was done with the order so even if the order took me an entire hour it was still $24 an hour to take that long trip. So I kind of thought smarter behind the orders that I was taking. So the next one is, is usually I'm not a big fan of batched orders just because I think a lot can go wrong with batched orders. If one restaurant is slower than the other, it can completely screw up the whole entire process. But anyway, I did more batched orders with low risk that I knew the restaurants were quick because that helped me get quicker to Uber Eats Quest and really capitalizing on Uber Eats Quest, which brings me to my next thing. I really, when I could, took advantage of the Uber Eats Quest in my area. So that way it gave me extra dollars because it's like free money, right? So I really capitalized on the quests that were going on with Uber, which every day gave me anywhere from an extra $10 to like $20. So that actually added on to my total. So I thought that was actually pretty decent of Uber and me capitalizing on their quest. So, and then finally, I don't recommend this to everybody unless you're an experienced driver, but I think it's important to talk about it is if you're at a restaurant and they're taking forever and your acceptance rates are okay, I would totally say just get rid of the order. I am all about not like giving that problem off to another driver. Sorry, drivers, if you get that order, but um, time is money. Your time is valuable. And I really believe I did not wait more than 10 minutes for an order this week because I thought my time was valuable and time is money. So if it took more than, uh, you know, that that 10 minutes, I got rid of the order immediately. Or if I knew the, if I went into a restaurant and I saw it was taking a while, I would ask, how long do you think it's gonna be? And they're like 15 minutes, 30 minutes. And I just got rid of the order because I wanted to move quickly onto the next order to maximize my time and my money out there. So just be careful because you don't want in DoorDash land, you don't want to go under that 80%. And then with Uber, you don't want to fall within that over that 5% range. So anyway, those are that that that's it. Those are my words of advice. That those are that is really what I did last week. I think I thought smarter. I thought through orders. I just didn't quickly jump on orders that 
I think I did a lot of things that made sense to me and my time and I really valued my time that I had out there. So anyway, those are my words of wisdom for last week. So guys, that is all I have for today. Short, sweet, and simple. Sorry I rambled on, but I wanted you guys to have that information. So don't forget if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button on the bottom. If you like the contents of this video, give it a big thumbs up on the bottom. Leave me comments, I would love to hear from you. And that is it, those are the best ways to help out my channel. Guys, stay safe out there, kindness is always free, and peace out.